Did you order this engine off of Amazon and cannot figure out how to hook up the electric start? It does not give you any information in this manual. The extreme power is what it's called. So I have this engine and I searched the internet trying to find out how to hook it up. I had to call. They would not answer. They told me it, there was a message saying email. I emailed. I did get a reply back. So I'm here to help with your frustration, keep you from having any, by showing you quickly how to hook up the electric start on this engine. So first, this is the electric start. I this is what it looks like. It comes with keys and I already hooked it up. There's two bolts. That's easy because they're obvious where they are on the engine. There is also a empty hole down here and uh, this is where you would hook the small cable. There's a small black wire coming out of this box. There's one, two, three, four, five, six wires. And there's only one black one on the top. There's a black one with a stripe on the bottom. And there's a brown one. So you can go ahead and hook those up because it's obvious. They all match up with what's coming out of here. But then you have this yellow wire that doesn't go to anywhere. And you have this black wire down here. So once you get those, those hooked up, oh, and this black wire, it has a ring on it. This is a 10 millimeter uh, bolt here. Pop that off real quick because I'll need to hook the uh, battery to that. This bolt should be connected to the positive of the battery. And so that, there's words right here to say that. And so that's obvious. So that's good. So right here, this is coming out of the, the starter, um, the electric start. So you'll just hook this on here and then you will hook this black. If you sand off this paint so you get a good connection and get a nut and a bolt and just bolt it to there, that's a ground. Right now, I'm going to hook it to this little, there's a little, uh, a little clip coming out here and I'm just going to hook it to that. It will give me enough ground to start it for now, but it's, it would vibrate off if, um, if we left it there. And the secret, this yellow wire goes to nowhere. When I got that uh, email, she said, this has been discontinued, so ignore it. So you just don't hook it up to anything. So we will just get, after we hook up all the obvious ones, then put the small black one to ground. Then we will take our battery. I just have a lawn and garden battery. I uh, just quickly hooked up a couple of, they're both all red wires, but one of them is positive and one of them is negative. And so this negative side, I'll just um, clip it to here with this, but it says, and there is a sign down here. The bolt should be connected to the negative of the battery. This is actually an oil drain. Don't bolt it to that. Right here, the bolts that you, the two bolts that you would use to mount your engine, those are what you'll use. So the negative should be bolted to your engine mount and the positive battery cable should be bolted to the starter solenoid along with this black wire that comes out of the switch. So negative goes to the ground 
We'll just pinch it between here for now. And positive wire goes. Keep that pinched to make sure it doesn't. We don't want to hook that up to the battery yet. And positive goes to the starter solenoid. Put the little 10 millimeter bolt back on. Positive to that. We got those all hooked up. We got the positive. Now we will hook the negative up and we will start the engine. I don't have any fuel in it right now, so it's only gonna turn over. Oh, look, I didn't hook this one up. It's only gonna, it's only gonna turn over, it's not gonna crack. It, this engine is not shipped with oil, so make sure you add oil. It takes 10W30, and it takes, um, it says it takes a liter of it, but there's a dipstick in there, so fill it up to pretty much all the way. So, those two wires hook to the solenoid. Ground hook up, ground hooked up, battery hooked up, and it should turn over. Put the key in, on, start. And that's all there is to it. So remember, yellow wire doesn't go to anything, and you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Take care and good luck with all of your projects and have a good night. Bye-bye.